Okay, last one for the day, and this is quite funny. It's going to be a little uh, spoken joke, no writing needed, okay? And we're going to discuss something. We're going to argue something. So this week, for literary oracy, practice saying that, literary oracy, which means speaking, speaking correctly and politely and with manners, we're going to be discussing how to disagree nicely. Basically, how to argue with your friend without going, nah. Okay, we're going to learn how to do it nicely. So first of all, we have to come up with an unreasonable, unrealistic statement. And this is going to be a lot of fun. I need you guys to be creative with this task. So I have an unrealistic statement that I am going to tell you all now. Imagine I said to you, guys, a snake is a fish. Okay, doesn't sound like the truth to me, but instead of arguing with me and going, no, it's not, you're going to disagree with me nicely. And often when we disagree with someone nicely, it makes them agree with us more. So it helps you in your argument to disagree nicely. So you can choose anything. You could tell your parents or whoever around that a snake is a fish or that um, your brother is a donkey or um, that you should wear shoes on your head. Okay. And we're going to use these four points. You guys can pick one or try and remember all four, or come up with your own. And um, we're going to go through these as a rehearsal. So let's say I went to mum and I said, mum, you have to wear shoes on your head. And she said, no, why would you do that? Okay, if they just say why, you could say because I believe that your head needs more protection than your feet. And when they disagree with you, you can go. That's a good idea. Another idea is that if we put the bottom of our shoes on our head, we would never have injuries to our brain. Okay. Or you could say, I'm not sure I agree, mum. Maybe it's better to have head protection than foot protection. Okay. Or you could say, has anybody thought about the fact that we need to protect our brains? more than our feet or the last one let's look at it from this point of view a brain is worth a lot more than a foot okay this is unreasonable and unrealistic i understand that but we're going to be creative and make it a little bit more fun so i want you to find an unreasonable unrealistic statement to say to someone so that you can motivate an argument with them, okay, I want you to be able to have them argue with you so that you can disagree with them nicely using a format like this, using a sentence like this to disagree. So you guys are going to spend the day making unrealistic, unreasonable statements that you can disagree with. Obviously, don't fight with anyone because it is just a game to get us talking politely. You just need to do it once or twice and then for the rest of the week we're going to be using it for creative writing how to disagree nicely so go and give it your best shot